and Pai from Sophie and Commons Lab. Um, here I would like to share with you how we developed the cover image for Cell Journal on issue 20 of this year. Um, okay, uh, so on the cover, the most showy part might be the sunflower at the center. One half is normal, the other half is turning into greenish leaf-like phenotype. This is the classic BLOD symptom caused by phytoplasma infection. Phytoplasma are bacterial pathogens that are transmitted by leaf hoppers. It's accumulating in foam, and this is how it looks under the microscope. The fun fact is phytoplasma is also replicating in the insects. So after feeding on a disease plant, phytoplasma is accumulating in the leaf hopper, then spread to a new host when the infectious leaf hopper is feeding on another plant. Here are some examples of phytoplasma-induced symptoms. I think it's quite cool and really amazing. You can see like which spoon, different levels of filody and inborescence, which means floral parts turn into leafy color and structures, and excessive shoot growth. So why phytoplasma can induce these symptoms? There are several studies, but in the current study by Weijie and his colleagues from Saskia's lab, they found the phytoplasma effector CEP05 maintains vegetative growth of the husk plants. So in healthy plants, juvenile to adult transition is regulated by transcription factors, namely SPL and GATA. And in phytoplasma infected plants, CEP05 binds to and leading to degradation of these transcription factors. And more interestingly, in several cases, pathogens may lead to ubiquitination of host proteins that leads to degradation. The CEP05 mediated pathway is independent to ubiquitination. Alternatively, it self binds to ubiquitin receptor, then drag the whole complex to proteasome for degradation. So when we and I talk about what to include in the cover image, we thought about some concepts like zombie plants or maybe a goddess of youth because the infected plant stays in vegetative stage and keep growing more shoots or a witch because it's usually called witch spoon disease. And of course the symptoms like philody is pretty amazing and massive shoots and maybe like the mysterious power affects both leaf hopper and plants. But of course, the power is phytoplasma. So here's the very first draft I sent to Wei I know, I'm sorry, it's really needs great imagination. But that's a leaf hopper at the back, wearing a witch's hat. There's a tray in front of him. On the right is normal healthy plants. On the left is infected crazy plants with massive shoots and phytoplasma as the mysterious power surrounding them. And also the sap model at the background indicating the study. But we just thought maybe we should focus on the plants because his study is not really about leaf hoppers. So we just and his brother provided a nice draft illustrating crazy massive shoots different levels of flower symptoms. I think it's really impressive the witch's face is made by plants. So I think the cover is a combination of ideas from both sides. I like to keep the plant witch's face, but enlarge the flower parts at the center. We have the flower symptoms, proliferating shoots, the poppers, and phytoplasma at the background. For a witch's face, it's more symbolic. Maybe you could say it's a relatively normal leaf of a sunflower, or it's a face. And the head, it's maybe a head, or just a ribbon. And we did include the model in our pre-screening draft, but unfortunately it was removed in the final version. So please check the model in the article, and it's really an interesting research and I 
hope you like the cover. Thank you. Bye bye.